my week has been interrupted, interrupted by a doofus named Tito Ortiz. And I'm sitting at home and I'm minding my own business and I got to put up with Tito, right? And Tito's always going to be a hard one for me because I whipped Tito, made Tito tap on television, let the hold go. He denied tapping. Fight continues. Tito comes out with his hand raised and then I got to live with it. And losing to Tito's a very tough spot. Many people are not good losers. Most people are good winners. Tito is the worst winner. He will rub your nose in it like the puppy that missed the paper. And it's a really hard spot that he knows he shouldn't be in. Tito knows what happened. I know when I see Tito, I know the respect that he shows me. I know that he does not come across the room and look me in the eye or do anything like that. I get it. I get the whole thing and I appreciate it. I'm still jealous he won. And I would like that match back. And Tito needs me. I don't need Tito. I have a lot of things to do. I have a moral obligation that I am fulfilling, which involves whipping a lot of guys' ass who still need their asses kicked. I would just like to spread that to Tito. Tito, on the other hand, does not have a contract. When I start talking about Tito, people at Bellasaur start looking around going, hey, how about, you, how about you call out somebody on the roster? Not call out some guy that tried to harm our business by jumping in a rival promotion just because that promotion humiliated itself and flopped, the intent was still there. Tito had a very bad intent in mind. He tried to go into business for himself. He tried to use the power and the fame and notoriety that we gave him and then turn the gun on everybody else. Just because he's as smart as a box of rocks and it failed miserably, as any analyst could have told you ahead of time, doesn't mean that he's still got a seat at this table and is welcome to come home. I get that. And Tito does need me. And I don't need him. But I would be lying if I said anything other than I want him. I made him tap. I pinned him in college wrestling. I am not done with Tito Ortiz. And now I'm putting up with tweets that are clearly not written by him. They are written and read like a female would write them. So whether he's got a friend or he turned it over to the girlfriend, I really don't know. They don't catch on in their embarrassing. I send a message to Tweedo, to Tito, 5, 10, 15,000 people grab it. In the world of social media, that's a huge success. And 140 characters to be able to reach that many people and have that many likes and loves and retweets and mentions is a very big success. When Tito says something, you could hear a rat piss on cotton. Which also annoys me. When I'm going to you, Tito, and I am the industry's biggest draw, and I get to anoint somebody to be in the driver's seat with me, which will headline the show. I have never been less than a co-main event since 2008. You are on an island by yourself because you put yourself there because you thought Golden Boy was real. You need me. The good news for you is I'm here. I'm not here to save you like a life raft. I'm here to put you in the boat and then poke holes in it and watch you sink. But either way, you need me.